Remember kids, Molotovs, hazards to your health. This video is brought to you by Sightmark, distributors of optics, night vision, and accessories. Be sure to check them out and see what all they have to offer at www.sightmark.com. Howdy folks, welcome to another video here at Ordnance Lab. This is our first post-fire video for the fire we had on 5 August. We'll do a video thanking all the folks that have helped us out on that and also remembering Buddy who unfortunately didn't make it in the fire. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to move on to something that y'all have been asking for a while. And that's going to be a Che Guevara type uh, Molotov cocktail mortar made out of a shotgun. And we've got our familiar friend, Brian, not Cody, who's been helping us out with doing that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to head over there and we'll show y'all what we made. Hey, Hello, Cody. Sean. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Brian, not Cody. All right. So what do we got right here? Looks like a piece of field artillery uh, right very, off the bat. Very uh, improvised, one could say. <laughs> But this is as close as we could get to what the Che Guevara one from looking at the actual uh, documentation of the pictures we were able to find. Apparently he used a 12 gauge, I'm sorry, a 16, 16 gauge shotgun, which was more common in Cuba at the time. We've got a 12 gauge here that we went ahead and registered as a destructive device because for our friends at the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, if we're gonna be turning a shotgun from a shotgun into a mortar, then it becomes a destructive device and so it's registered with all the fun stuff with the ATF. You can talk some more about what we did to modify it. Sure, uh, we didn't want to keep the pressure too high uh, in testing. Bottles get blown up very quickly. A big help is using something like a pusher like this that goes in before the bottle. It's very rigid and uh, push around the outsides of the bottle and not the center. No more blowouts. And also we have a small expansion chamber in here that allows the pressure to drop significantly. So we're not doing full pressure from the from the, the blast charge. And one thing I guess to say also is that we're <clears throat> gonna eventually work our way into making it as a legit mortar where we're doing mm -hmm. indirect fire. But right now we're just trying to get it out of the barrel where it goes <laughs> over to our target. Well, hopefully it hits that, or otherwise we get to show off our shiny new firefighting gear. And we want things to be safe. Uh, this is not the best shoulder-fired weapon. Uh, it works pretty good uh, with, a, with a mount. Uh, the end of this barrel is heavy, so uh, no, one, no one's really wanting to shoulder it, and the projectiles are very heavy too. So figure this is, this is the best, and when experiment with something, we've got a uh, Mark I standoff string. So yep. a little bit of the, safety. Well, the ones that he actually used, they used some sort of um, bipod, and which was a, mm -hmm. a primitive TNE mechanism. It's like a mortar. Yeah, whenever you're doing a real mortar, of course, you've got to traverse an elevation where you can actually dial it in, but this right here is clearly not mm -hmm. a standard mortar or hell. I bet our hell can is probably more accurate than this. Yeah. A little backstory will help provide some context to our latest project. This Molotov cocktail launcher was brought to light by this little guy here. Don't recognize him? How about this photo? No, perhaps this photo. Is it ringing a bell yet? That's because you probably know him by his final Pokemon Evolved form of this guy, Ernesto Guevara, commonly known as El Che. Contrary to what a lot of people think, he isn't from Cuba. He was actually born in Argentina, down in South America for the geographically impaired. He is famously or infamously known for being an incredibly violent and brutal warlord on par with just about any other bloodthirsty megalomaniac you can think of. Prior to this, he was actually a medical student. He got big into motorcycles and drove across Latin America where his love for Marxist doctrine really went into gear. El Che eventually ended up in Mexico City where he met the other P in his communist pod, Fidel Castro. Together, they conspired to overthrow the Cuban government via a violent revolution to form their Marxist paradise, so to speak. We are not going to go into crazy detail of Che's life as there are plenty of documentaries you can watch about him. Che left his mark on this world by inspiring a line of cringy fashion worn by people that probably have no idea who he is. Oof, Jay-Z. Major faux pas right there, homie. Che also was a fan of shotguns and molotovs. So his other mark he left in the world was combining shotguns and molotovs to form the M16 Molotov Cocktail Launcher. We crafted one with a scrapped and nearly non-functional shotgun placed into a mount so we could test fire the launcher from a safe position. We first needed to get the powder charge just right.
Once that was figured out, we prepared the launcher for final testing of live Molotov cocktails. The launcher will be initiated with rope, so we are at a safe distance in case of misfire or worse. The Molotov cocktails will get launched into this nifty cistern turned into a Molotov target pit. Let's see how our craftsmanship holds up. Greetings YouTube sensors from wherever on planet Earth that y'all are. We wanted to make sure before y'all watch this video, because you could think this is firearms, but the, though this right here is made from a firearm, we have now changed this right here into a de facto mortar. So therefore what this should be properly qualified as, or classified as under YouTube's policies is gonna be dangerous acts. And this right here is done by licensed professionals in a highly controlled environment by military trained professionals. So, and this right here is in no way, shape or form being offered to the public. And this video right here is done for historical reasons creations of a firearm from a forgotten past of Che Guevara. So again, this should be categorized as a historical documentation or historical video and should fall underneath the dangerous acts category, which again, is being done by licensed professionals in a very controlled environment. Woo! That was perfect. Pretty good. Good job. Very nice, get it success. Oh, we just Eiffel Towered over it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I had to include that. Maybe. All right, guys, so that was extremely successful. And one thing we want to make sure that we make clear is that don't do this at home. Molotov cocktails are controlled by the ATF as a destructive device. Now, we are a manufacturer of destructive devices, therefore, we can do that. However, comma, if you were to do this at home, they would take a very dim view of that, and you may have to explain yourself to some 12 of your peers and whatnot. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and increase the elevation. It went really well. Yep. We wanna get it just a little bit higher, and we'll see if we can get it to hit there at the top of it. Um, but again, we're like, usually we have disasters uh, the first time <laughs> we try something. Now it's finally going our way. So let's try it again. <laughs> You're just saying that it wouldn't go over. <laughs> The second shot went a little high as you can see here, as it hits the corner of the wall. We were just amazed that they were flying in a somewhat straight line from the launcher. Especially since this is a very crude device. Time to reset the launcher and try again. It isn't an Ordnance Lab video without some sort of failure. The rag separated from the bottle mid-flight, so all we did was give the wall a good soaking of fuel. What a waste. We fixed the issue by adding additional restraints to the rag of the last projectile to ensure it doesn't fly off. Hopefully, anyways. We loaded up the last projectile for launch, and set the angle just right. Fourth time's a charm since the third one wasn't so great. The Molotov landed right on the money and dispersed perfectly. It's safe to say this prototype works and we can move on to more comprehensive testing in a future video. All right, well, that was an initial success that we uh, <laughs> got them going. Usually things here at Ordnance Lab are a disaster of some sort, but this one actually went well, except we had that one that didn't go off, but that yep. was just because, well, that was, um, crappy fuse design by yeah on there salted but, the range for the next one yeah so what we're going to be doing is we're doing some follow-on videos where we actually go out there and see what we can do to see how Che Guevara would have actually have employed it so we're doing more of a historical stuff because this here isn't just a bunch of yahoos out in Texas blowing stuff up and doing it things is. this is more like the Discovery Channel so for our YouTube overlords in wherever on planet Earth that they are watching from, make sure to know that this right here is not firearms related. We are instead doing a historical reenactment. All right, well, thanks for watching our video. And again, thanks to those y'all that supported us since the fire. We're gonna make a video for y'all and we'll also do one for Buddy, but I'm just not quite ready for that. I gotta go spend some time. I'm gonna go vanish off planet Earth for a week or so, and then we'll be ready to get into that stuff. But again, thanks for watching and for y'all's support, and we'll see y'all next time here at Ordnance Lab.